Good morning. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to work on a pocket bag. This is what it looks like. We have a tag here for a pocket or a pocket there for a tag and a pocket here and you can fit so much in this pocket. And the back of it can be glued down or you can decorate the whole thing and have the, fill this up with stuff and have this for happy mail which is a great idea so what i have are lunch bags these were white and i coffee dyed them look at that isn't that awesome i just love that so i coffee dyed these but then you have this oh i have so much to show you hold on i have the box full of these bags, popcorn bags. Isn't that something? And this size. I'm gonna pull them all out because I'm gonna pull a few of those out. These can be used as well. These right here don't have a flip up, you know, a bottom to it, but you could flip it up to make a pocket and cut this flat or this way, because you'll decorate so you'll cover it. So that's nice. I only have one of these Avon bags, same thing. That's gonna be covered. This one is already vintage dyed. <laughs> It's from 1990, and I think that's the only one I have. And then we have these big popcorn bags. Again, it doesn't have a bottom to it, but you flip them up and make a pocket. So on top of that, I also have craft ones, and I have pink ones. And here's the white ones before the coffee died. So I have lots of different bags. We're gonna work with one of these coffee dyed ones today. And the tag I made from a file folder, I coffee dyed the file folder. And the coffee dye is the side that you write on. Isn't that nice looking? So we'll make a tag like this. We could make Let's see, let's see what we want to do here. So the size that I made this, this is five inches across and I've cut it down so that it is seven and three quarters. Do any size that you want. It, it's, 10 and 3 quarters is the size. Um, my tag, I think my tag is a little long, but I stitched it so I can't cut it off. But um, just cut a little bit more off of that and have the bow coming down. So let's start with our size here. Most journals, regular size journals, are nine by six. So you want this cut down, and I think I had the other one at seven. So this will be a Happy Mail one. This one's, a, yeah, that one's a little too big for a journal. So we said, well, no, it's not, nine. Okay, let me wake up, I need more coffee. This will fit, because it's nine tall. So let's make this seven. We'll make this seven. And then I keep this because it's coffee dyed. Look at that. You can use it for something. And then we want this to be a little under five. Let's 
do four and a half. And then I'm going to cut this off. And then we said it's seven. See the coffee dyed side? So let's maybe cut it to six. And you could flatten that in some books. Yeah, six will look like it's all right. Could have went a little bit bigger, but that's fine. So I have this card here. And I should have covered it first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Now I'll have to recut it when I when I uh, cover it. So here I have a lot of papers. I will be putting this down at the bottom. So let's find something for this and for the tag. These are Ruby and Pearl Digitals. Oops. And I need to go through it and clean it out. Use that on the tag. Maybe use that. everybody doing? I hope you're doing great. I hope you had a wonderful Easter yesterday. We went to church services, but other than that, we didn't do anything. I want to start making Easter a family day for the next year. I had glue underneath my finger now. Yeah, I want to cook and have family like I used to do. Life has just been so busy. But I realized yesterday I need to just slow down. Just slow down and take some time for family. put this lovely lady oh let's see let's try to put her there um coffee dyeing is easy i just i get instant coffee i have it from walmart but you can get it from the dollar tree it's just a couple dollars at walmart and I just got a coffee cup, filled it with water, boiled it for two minutes. And then I put like three heaping teaspoons. It says only one, I put three. And that's the color I got. And then I used a sponge paintbrush to put it on the paper. Right, little spray bottle. And um, I put the coffee in the spray bottle in case I had some more 
to do. Can't keep it in there for long. It gets rancid. I think you can put baking soda in it. I'm not sure. To help with that, help it last longer. I'm just going to use it for a few things. So we have our pocket. Yeah, these are going to be awesome for Happy Mail. So we have this. Don't cut your corners until after you cover it. Whoops, wrong side. And don't cover the coffee dyed side. I really should have had a second cup of coffee today. So my daughter is getting married on Thursday. And then she's leaving Friday. And they're going on a cruise. She just loves cruises. So I will be watching the baby for a few days overnight. Hopefully he sleeps through the night for me. And the other grandma will have Ryder, the four-year-old. But yeah, I'm hoping the baby, he is almost 14 months, just a couple more days to go, and he will be. He sleeps from, what's she say, 8 to 7.30, 8 o'clock. So let's hope he does that for me. That would be wonderful. Holly's not happy. I put his bed in her room. <laughs> So there we go. And I forgot to bring over some sorry stuff, so let me get some. I do put, yeah, let's do some polka dots. Isn't this pretty? I hate to use my polka dot stuff because I love it so much, I just hoard it. I have this beautiful piece just sitting here. <laughs> just sitting here on my desk, just looking at it. So I am going to make a bow and then glue the bow on. Come on. I think the puppy has to go out. That puppy always has to go out. bow is not staying tight. I 
All right, let's try that. Let's try this. Come on. But yeah, it's really easy to coffee dye when just a couple of items. I know sometimes it's a little intimidating. You think that you have to go in the kitchen and turn the oven on and get a big old pan, but you don't have to. You can just get a coffee cup size or a spray bottle size. Let's see, I need that. I don't need that. Whoops. Let's let that dry while we finish this. So I want to put a label and some of this lace on. Let's do this lace for us. See how pretty that is? Come on now. drink of water. Thank you. All right, there's that. So what color? I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Trying to find I like that one. I saw Kathy from Kathy's Garden, I believe is her YouTube channel. I saw her make these. And she made it. Yeah, I like that. All the colors are looking nice. Using fabric instead of paper on the tag and right there. So there, this will go here. But I think I want these. Give a decorative edge. Oh my goodness. Those are so heavy. How's that? Now let's see what it looks like. Yeah, now the tag is perfect size. We have the bow. And then you can put a little something here. Like, that's a little big. But we have this. I think these are a little big. We need something small. We we'll probably just make something out of this. The coffee dyed part on the back. So you can look at the beautiful coffee dyed look. I just love how. coffee dye dyeing looks especially when you get designs on there or build up a, you know like a little coffee puddle and let it dry like that I left the coffee um, cup sitting on one of the tags that I made. One of these bags. That one. I left the coffee cup sitting there while it dried. And I did go with the coffee cup and go around and make circles, but they didn't dry that way. 
the coffee cup had to sit. But these are puddles of coffee. I just want to coffee dye a whole, whole bunch more. And I think I'm gonna do that with my spray bottle and then get everything and anything that has a circle bottom. So, and uh, lay it on there. So we can just put this pretty card here. And there you go. Where's my other one? Right here. So these are fun to make. Like I said, you can make them any size that you want. We got some rhinestones on, the, on this other one. All my stuff is falling down. Um, but yeah, we could get some rhinestones, some pearls. I got all kinds of stuff here. These are not sticking together, but let's put some on the tag. Just to decorate this little tag up a little bit, this little journaling card. Oh, I need my tweezers. Get one more. some glue. These little things are testy, aren't they? There. Those I just had sitting on my desk. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this project. And if you make it, I would love to see what you come up with. And again, get a little gift card and cheat there so there we go thank you so much and i will see you in the next video bye y'all